Right, when it comes to fussy eaters, which camp are you in? Are you the tough love type or do you cave in and give your child what they want? I'm feeling slightly kind of guilty here because I'm definitely in the second one. And there's a study out uh, saying that 50% of people are taking twice as long to do the supermarket shopping because they're just trying to accommodate everybody in the house with all the different tastes. Do you? Do you make different meals? I, I, I do. I make three different meals. Three. I make my own because I'm a veggie. Ian and Char... Stop! Don't look at me like that! <laughs> Don't look at me like that! <laughs> and then Bonnie, Jane had the pleasure of meeting Bonnie last week, and she's a force to be reckoned with. Oh, she's, she's the delightful. Fussiest. She's got you wrapped right around her little finger. Oh, do you think so? That's yes. funny. Because I thought I was in charge. No, <laughs> you're not. Oh, so you cook completely different meals for three different. Yeah, well, Ian, my partner, and Charlie are. They eat anything, they're great, but they're meat eaters. I'm right. a veggie, so I make my own thing. And then Bonnie is just from another planet. But what she does is she eat? So fussy. Well, what will she eat? Eat carbs. She loves all carbs. She loves pasta. She loves bread. She doesn't like sauces. She doesn't like them arranged that way on the plate. She, do... <laughs> you know, she. But that's just... been developed. Oh, that's oh no! Been... Come on, then. Yeah, Come on, give it to me. Been... I was just about there to say. There is no child that is born with those little things, unless we're talking about allergies, which is a whole separate yeah. issue mm. that we'll park over here. But if a child will not eat something, it's because they have decided somewhere along the way that they don't like it, and then you've enabled that. So if what, it's what just should I do there then, apart forever, from send her to you? Just for say two that's weeks. it. <laughs> that is it. Give her, there if there she, you if go. She's carbs, that's your supper. Yeah. And if, if she doesn't eat it, yeah. then she goes hungry. That's what I say. If she's carbs, stick a jacket potato down and go, there's your carbs. She eat doesn't it. like jacket potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Or mashed potatoes. I was saying on the programme just a couple of weeks ago yeah. that when my children were small, I would cook what I thought was lovely food and I'd put it down and they would go, what can I leave? <laughs> was the first yeah. question. Yeah. But, but, but two of them, Karen and Paul, uh, were just about a year and a bit in between. And when Paul, who was younger, couldn't really talk that much, I used to say to him, you can't get down from the table to eat your boiled egg or whatever. And he would indicate that he'd eaten it, and I'd say, no, you haven't. And I'd put him back up again. I only discovered literally about seven years ago that Karen used to switch it. So Paul would eat his egg, <laughs> then she would switch it, and oh, I really? would think that he hadn't eaten it, I'd put him back up again. <laughs> well, oh. I thought we were going to have to get pest control in, because I thought Bonnie was, you know, finally eating fish. And then you start to smell in this room. What smell in this room? What's the smell in this room? And we ripped this place to bits, and there's bits of white fish underneath <laughs> no. the couch, at the oh. back of books. It had mould growing <laughs> on it. I mean, it was all over the place. You go, Bonnie! She went, wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think it could be you being too fussy? The mum that's too fussy. If you're eating differently to the rest of your exactly. family, you're sort of saying that oh, that's okay. Oh, it's my okay fault, then. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so you're kind of... I mean, it's funny... It's my, an interesting my, point. My older daughter mm. has just gone vegetarian, and I keep forgetting. So yesterday we had Sunday lunch and we cooked roast lamb, and then she came down from where, where, her bedroom at some point ready for lunch, and uh, she went... Oh, but I'm vegetarian. And we went, oh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, she just... So we all ate roast lamb and she just had the vegetables that were on the table. You know, that, that's it. You just get on with it. Do you know the great thing about it is? Having, you know, endless strapping grandchildren at the moment, six foot four and beyond. Eating everything. Once they get to early teens, yeah, you cannot fill them. I used to say, have you got hollow legs? Yeah. It all but, settles down in there. Do end. you know, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> I mean, does it just kind of pass? <laughs> It does, because then they just... They, you can't fill them then. You sort of say, where did you put those six croissants or whatever? You, should, you should give her the chance... You should say to her, right, let's go to the supermarket. Now, you choose what you want to, you want to eat. I've okay? done that. You go and pick yeah. it all, so you pick it out all, the sweets and you go, and right, there's your bag, that's your food now. You go, all right, you go back to the kitchen, cook it if you want, and if she doesn't want it, go... That's it. She said There is no more. <laughs> <She's seven. laughs> You've got to start somewhere, Kay. You're being too fussy with I've her. Got, I've got some thing. friends who've introduced um, food, all kinds of food, from a very early age to their children, and, and I'm very envious because their children eat yeah. absolutely everything and anything that's put in front of them. I know. Well, I'm envious too, but I've got an elder daughter who does eat absolutely anything. She'll eat any kind of food, any kind of cuisine. She loves it. And I thought I'd done the same thing with the other one. I, somebody switched them. <laughs> <laughs>